Hi everyone, my name is Ranjit from FTC Team 18172, and in this video, I'm going to be explaining what the math operators do in Scratch. First, we'll look at the more easier math blocks, which are these four. So for the first block, it's addition, so it's pretty simple. I'm going to say 4 plus 16, 20. The next block is subtraction. You can do, let's just do 60 minus 30, which is 30. And then for the multiplication blocks and division block, the it, for the standardized X symbol, it's not like that in code. It's just a star in code for multiplication. And for division, instead of the two dots and the line in between it, it's a backslash. So for the multiplication, we can just say six times three is 18, and division, say 81 divided by nine, that's nine. So those are pretty simple. Now let's go to the pick random. So for this, I'm gonna put change x by, uh, change x by picking random between negative 200 and 200 because we want the sprite to move either here or here, anywhere between here and here. So like over here, it's near negative 200 and over here, as you can see, it's near 200. So when I click the green block, green flag, it goes anywhere between that area. Now we can also do this with Y you can do it with both Y and X. Now it pretty much just goes randomly anywhere. But we also, we already have that block go to random position, but that's some ways you can use the pick random blocks. Now let's go to the greater than, less than and equal to signs. So for this, let's say, let's put a if then statement block. Now inside the if then statement block, let's put the greater than symbol. Let's add another if then statement block and put the less than symbol. Now inside the first if then statement block, let's say, say hello. And for the second one, we'll say, say bye. Now I'm gonna put, I'm actually gonna use the uh, pick random block and then say pick random between one through a hundred and save for this. So if this is pretty much saying if the number between one through 100 is greater than 50, the sprite will say hello. If the number between one through 100 is less than 50, it'll say bye. So when I click it, that number was less than 50, so it said bye. That again was less than 50, again, 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 again. <laughs> and now this number was above 50, so that's why it said hello. Yeah, so that's how you can use the greater than or less than signs. Now, for the equal to sign, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna use the pick random block again, but if I say one through 100, it's gonna be like impossible to get 50 exactly. So I'm gonna say 49 and 51. So over here, and I say, let's just say, Hi. So now when I click it, that number was exactly 50. That number was not, that was either 49 or 51. That was not, that was, that was 50. So you can use the equal to sign like that. Now let's go to, I'm going to skip these blocks and I'm going to, I'm going to say, I'm going to explain rounding. So rounding is pretty easy. Let's just say 26.4. This will round to 26. If I say 26.5, it'll round to 27. So if the decimal number is, a, is five or above, it'll always go to the higher integer. If the decimal number is below four, or if, it's, if the decimal number is four or below, it'll go to the lower integer. So yeah, so like 26.5 will go to 27, 26.8 will go to 27, 
and 26.1 will go to 26. So that's rounding. Now this block you can you can choose which math block you want. But these are more of like the advanced math blocks. If you know if you've been in algebra two, you would know what log is. If you've taken trigonometry, you would know what sine, cosine, and tangent are. I'm not gonna explain that in this video. I'll explain about absolute values. So absolute value of uh, let's just say fifteen. 15, the absolute value of 15 is 15. The absolute value of negative 15 is negative is 15. So if you're trying to find the absolute value of something, you pretty much just take off the negative sign and that's the absolute value. If it's a positive number, then you just keep it the same. So that's absolute value. Now let's go to square root. So the square root of 81 that's 9, because 9 times 9 equals 81. The square root of 49 is 7, because 7 times 7 equals 49. There's kind of like a pattern here. Uh, let's say 16. The square root of 16 is 4, because 4 times 4 is 16. The square root of 9 is 3, because 3 times 3 is 9. And the last one will be 4, because 4 times 4 this, or 2 times 2 is 4. So that's square root. Now, last time I'm going to do floor and ceiling. So floor and ceiling, it's pretty much like rounding, except, or hold up. So let's say 26.1 for floor and then 26.1 for ceiling. So this would equal 26 and this would equal 27. So no matter what the decimal number is for floor, it'll always go to the lower integer. No matter what the decimal number is for ceiling, it'll always go to the higher integer. So we say 26.7, or 26.9, 26.9, it'll still go to 26 instead of, and ceiling will always go to 27. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.